Uh, my name is JP, John Powell. I'm the president of JP Aerospace. We've been working on this project for about 33 years now. And our whole approach is to find a cheaper way to get to space. This is one of our vehicles here. Um, first, if you start on top, if you want to come around here. This is where the balloon attaches. Now, normally there would be a little uh, device on top of here that cuts the balloons off. Uh, if it gets too high or if, like, say it starts leaking helium so, and the balloon just kind of st stops climbing. Uh, this device here is basically a timer that we call the popper. And it cuts the balloons after a specified amount of time, usually about two hours. This here is our mini beacon. It's a fail-safe locating system uh, that uh, basically transmits uh, on a steady interval so we can go out in the field with a directional antenna and point to it to locate where the vehicle is if for some reason our GPS systems and all else fails and we can't see it. Samsung's uh, camera set up with the phone and we have over here uh, the video transmitter. This is the video transmitter the antenna, and in this box here is the battery for the transmitter. We have what's called our tiny track system. Inside here is a GPS unit connected to a small microcontroller that transmits through a two meter radio that every 15 seconds transmits the vehicle's GPS coordinates. We then feed this into a computer, which I'll show you in a few minutes that uh, translates the data into uh, real time on a 3D map of Google Earth. Okay, so let me talk about the antennas. So first off, yeah, I showed you the tiny track that transmits two meter. That's what this big gaggy antenna, as it's called, is for. This receives the two meter and feeds it into a radio inside the vehicle that is connected to a computer to get the GPS data. This dish antenna over here is our 900 megahertz antenna. And this is what's transmitting the images you see on the phone's screen are for the uh, live video feed. This is just a little 1.2 gigahertz antenna on top here. We have another one down here that's 2.4 because we are switching between a couple different uh, varieties of transmitters to see which one performs best.